plan on doing this forever. But Luz, let me tell you this. What if you were to die tonight? Mm -hmm. And this what you're doing is, is displeasing God. I don't think what you're doing is right, right? I don't think God loves that. Financially, mm -hmm. we're being held here. But it wasn't the plan. Yeah, it was Satan's plan. <laughs> I believe that you're in danger. All right, look where we're at. Botanica. We've been here before. We had actually a crazy encounter with the lady there. Claimed that she died before and she went to heaven. Go watch that video if you haven't. But for some reason, I feel like the Lord wants me to come back. And let's just ask some more questions and see how the Lord can move today. In Jesus' name, let's go. Do you remember me? We came with the camera and I prayed with you. Oh, okay. Uh, I like. know I'm I'm gonna hurry to go. I'm just trying to finish this and I have to go. You're on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that I don't like I don't like to come out like that on YouTube or anything like that. Well, okay, I won't put your face on there. And the thing is I didn't that, put your face on there. But where where is the video at? It's on YouTube. I looked it up, I couldn't find it, but really? I found other videos. Yeah. The only thing is that the things that I heard and I and I heard you say, it's almost like It's spiritual content. Mm, spiritual content, but it's almost like I feel that yeah. it's almost like an attack. You're attacking people that believe other stuff and they don't believe what you believe. Well, I mean, obviously it's against the scripture, right? So I, I preach that it is against the scripture, but I do teach on what the significance behind this guy is or mm -hmm. what it is. I actually just interviewed a Buddhist, mm -hmm. you know, recently. So it's the same thing. Actually, I want you guys to come to the knowledge of the truth. I want people like to know the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, well, me personally, I'm Catholic. You, yeah, I'm you told Catholic. me that last time. See, that's what I don't understand. It's like, because I have a lot of family. I know people that are Catholic, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in the Bible, like, it would say, you know, things like this or, or demonic or like, you know, things like this or against the word of God. What do you say about that? Or how would you answer people that, you know, that said that this is against the scripture? Mm, or you I don't really, feel like it's against? I really don't know. I feel that a lot of things, like I said, it's, it's a personal opinion, right? Yeah. Um, I think there's some things that I do not agree on. With the word of God? No, no, oh, with I'm not this. About okay. With this stuff, yeah. Okay. You know, with but like I like, I tell my mom. My mom yeah. is a a person that is Catholic. I mean, you don't. So I what does she say about you this? Say, oh, she's she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. You know, can I be honest with you? Like, I actually wasn't gonna come here, but I felt God told me go back over there. I, I was like, okay. I just had to be obedient. What the Lord wants me to do is, is just teach you a little bit about His Word because He loves you and He's giving you a second chance at life. You almost yeah. died, yeah. you know? So it's not not because uh, we hate you. I don't hate anybody. If I, if I hated you, I wouldn't be a Christian mm -hmm. because, you know, that's the two greatest commandments that God gave us. He says, love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself, right? And I love you with all my heart because I, I, you're created in God's image and He loves you. You're His daughter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is against the Word of God, right? And if you're a daughter of God and you, you want to seek Him, you have to stand on what His Word says, you know, so you can't be like, yeah, I believe this, but then also going to believe in this too. So, like, you know, like a lot of these things, like, you know, the evil eye and stuff, that, that's real popular now. And the people believe that it protects them, right? It, like it, from negative energies, from bad energies. But the truth is, if you're a Christian, you're, you know, somebody who believes in Christ, right? We believe that he's our Jehovah Jireh. He's our Jehovah Rapha, our healer, our protector, our provider. God says not to make any images, you know, and worship them and to believe in them, like to reverence them. Oh, to I know. Um, me and my husband, we always talk about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he's the kind of person that he says, he, and I'm just telling you what he says. Yeah. He says, because um, I, I, I like to go to church sometimes. I go with my mom or we'll go together. And he's the kind of person, he's like, I don't think I need to go to church because God's going to listen to me anywhere I go. Yeah. I can be at home and it's going to be the same thing. That's exactly true. And I say, yeah, I know. But sometimes it's not that. It's you make the sacrifice to go visit 
the temple. Can I teach you on something? So what he's saying is actually biblical. Jesus said a time is coming where you don't have to go here to this temple, to this mountain to worship God. Mm -hmm. He says the time is coming where the true worshipers, people that truly worship God, will worship him in spirit and in truth, meaning everywhere. But there's a truth to the way you worship, right? And Jesus modeled that life. The Bible also says this, don't forsake the assembling of gathering together like it's accustomed to some. When you assemble, you sharpen each other. So that way you can learn and you can grow in the Word of God. The Bible says that we're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The stuff we don't know is destroying us. Mm -hmm. So like if you don't know certain scriptures, you know, it, Satan can be destroying you. He can have legal rights over your health and over certain things. Are you a practicing Catholic? Yeah. You believe all his words? Okay, so what about like the part where it says that no fornicator, like no idolater, none of that, no drunkard will go to heaven. What do you think about that? Because you said you've been to heaven. Yes, I believe in that. Like I will see this is what I think. This is my opinion. Like I said, I know, I know as a child, mm -hmm. you know, in the Catholic religion, you always see these saints is like these uh, statues and right? stuff like that. That's how we grew up. You don't worship them, do you? I don't worship them, but I, I see them as a symbol. Okay. As a symbol. But not like I'm, oh my God, like if it breaks, it breaks, you know? It's it's an item. Mm. It doesn't mean God is in there. God who, is everywhere. Who do you worship? God. God, God. You don't worship saints? Like you don't, you don't, pr you just pray no, to No, we, we ask them because we see them as, as a person that lived and Es como un, como un abogado de un... Yeah, I, I hear what you're habla, él, él habla y pide por ti. So but, a mediator. A mediator, yeah. Read the book of Timothy. It talks about Jesus being the mediator. He says there's one mediator between God and man. It's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You go through Jesus, man, you, you have access to God all day long. You can enter into the spirit realm because of the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can enter into the heavenlies because of what Jesus did. Have access to the throne of God. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That comes from Africa, yeah. Mm. You know anything about it? Because this is an altar, right? Yeah, you can say that's an altar. Like yeah. a small altar? Yeah, but, a small altar. But, but does this guy bring you money? <laughs> I think... Or can you take money? <laughs> no, I'm messing No, no, I don't take money from that. <laughs> I actually give that money away. You do? Yes, I give it to the church. Oh, okay. You, you take that to, to the church on Sundays? <laughs> <laughs> This yeah, I mean, I take it, or let's say that somebody comes in here, and they're like, you know, they they're like going through a hard time, or they have somebody in in um, need. in need of something, or like somebody that came one time. Um, it was a family, yeah, and they had uh, their. I think the lady she couldn't speak. I don't know what language yeah. she spoke, but she says that her son was in the hospital, mm -hmm. and she had a picture of her son. In the hospital with all these tubes and everything. What was wrong with her? I don't know. The little girl. Well, the little girl was the one that was speaking, and she was telling me that her brother was really sick, and he <coughs> was like in a coma. And he was dying. Wow. And they needed help with, you know, with uh, I guess hospital bills. Mm -hmm. And then you gave her that. Yeah, I gave her money. Yeah. Oh wow. It's supposed to be. Well, it depends. And uh, the Dominican Republic, they call him. I think Papa Candelo. Papa Candelo. Which is LA. He's Dominican. Oh, see? Sí? <laughs> yeah. Le dicen Papa Candelo, ¿verdad? Right? <laughs> oh, you don't know. Maybe. Yeah, you don't yeah. know, yeah. You used to have the holy, oh, the holy death is over there. I don't, I don't do nothing. I don't. You don't mess don't, with that? No, okay. I don't. But, but like, you know, I like, sell her because people want her, but not because I do anything. How did you get involved in this? With your parents being religious? My, my mom and my dad. So there wasn't nothing that was planned. It was just something that we... Oh, she started doing it too? My mom, but she sells like religious stuff, like... Oh, like veladoras. Veladoras, like like the <coughs> santos. Um, but she's Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she like, she, at first she started selling stuff like that, but she didn't feel right. No more. So she, she got convicted. She's, she's, you know, she's taking a lot of stuff out little by little. Yeah. And now like all the... God is working in her heart. All Santeria stuff, she got rid of it. It invites evil spirits. Yeah. You know that? I don't know. Do you ever see evil spirits? Never have. You evil never see them? No. Wow. That's, that's no. a miracle. <laughs> I've seen spirits, but not evil spirits. Well, how did you know they were not evil? Um, You just feel it. I don't know. I, I think you just like feel you it. Have you seen them in here? I've seen them in here. I've seen them at home, but not where I live now. 
um, in other places How did where they I lived. Look, like, like, like me and you. So they were like human. Like human. But they were they transparent or? The one, yes, the one female that I saw, yes, she was kind of transparent. The ones that I saw here, they so were transparent. So it was a female. You seen her? Yeah, I seen her. It caught me off guard. I was awake at night. I was watching my favorite show, I Love Lucy. So I, I, I lay down. I turn off the TV, trying to go to sleep, and then all of a sudden I, I thought somebody had broke in mm. because I saw a shadow coming from the downstairs of my house upstairs, and it went around the stairs. Wow like that and I said because I had the windows open yeah. to let the fresh air it was like during April mm -hmm. so that the the wind you could yeah. feel it yeah. felt really nice yeah. that day I remember it was a full moon and my whole house was illuminated with a full moon the moon was the only thing that was glowing inside my house so I said maybe I'm just seeing something and I kept looking and I was like that whatever that is is moving and then I thought oh my god I think maybe somebody yeah. broke in and then I kept looking at it where it was coming in and then it ca she came in my bedroom she came in your room yeah she came in she was walking like she's just like any person wow. she was wearing a she was she looked like she was dressed in from like the Victorian days you know those oh, real the old long dresses but it was like a sleeping gown yeah like that really long and she was just walking very beautiful lady she she was very beautiful long hair up to here black hair like you could see you could no she looked like she had light brown because you could see some color but not much but she was kind of see-through so she and was kind of see-through she was kind of see-through and then she went by the feet of my bed and then i sat up because i sat up because i was like whoa who's this lady she's in here you know what what who is this you know i was a thousand questions yeah. were going in my head and i was like what is this so i sat up and when i sat up she stopped like i guess she saw me mm -hmm. and she turned around and she looked at me and that did scare me that right there did scare oh, wow. me because i thought what is she gonna do yeah so my first thought was is she gonna jump on me mm -hmm. you know that was my thought yeah but no she didn't do nothing she just looked at me like like this she went like this like <laughs> can we show her? how she looked at you yeah she look, like she went like like this wow and then yeah and then did you run <laughs> no i screamed <laughs> you screamed i screamed wow and that was one of the encounters that you had yeah wow mm -hmm. and that's it that's like the only ones you've had that's the only one did she just disappear <laughs> she walked out and i was in the second floor so she walked out the window like she just went Oh, like by the window and just left through the and house. gone through the window wow and then i called my mom immediately i told her and so wow and so that was like one of the craziest encounters you've had so far that one yes uh -huh. besides you dying and going to heaven yeah wow that's it why do you put oil on that those are all oils for the candles oh it makes them light up better or what yeah it, it, it's like the, each oil has a purpose oh okay yeah. what you told me last time like the perfumes and stuff yeah like it, it invites different spirits in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, you still like these perfumes and all that? Like, they, you could put them on the on the candles, and they summon in different spirits. Yeah, it depends on what they put. Um, it's supposed to help the candle, kind of like give it strength. Uh, different powders. Each powder is already. So, like, like, what's that one for? That one is to calm, uh, or yeah, to kind of like peaceful and stuff like that. If the person is angry. Not to be angry. Not to be angry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like when we when we prepare the powders, like I fix the powders. Yeah. It, it's what I'm saying every time. So it's the intention that I put into the mm. the stuff. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you about the altars. Like when you set things like this up, like why do you have to put like like money and rocks? I don't put money and I don't tell people to do it. Oh, they do it themselves. They do. I put mine. And they do it themselves. I, and then they see it and they're like. Can I leave something? And I was like, it's up to you. I mean, people left to a tooth right there. What is it? The <laughs> that's, corn, that's a, a piece of corn. Oh, is that corn? Okay. So they they, the they gave him an offering of uh, corn. Corn. And somebody gave him an offering of uh, a stone. I think it's what is a that powder right there. Which one? This, this white powder. That one is called efun. That's <laughs> cascaria. That's made from uh, eggshells. Eggshells. Yeah, and holy water. Oh, so they just kind of press it down together? They, yeah, they grind it. Yeah. What is and that And they use though? it, well, 
That is used to dress up the, you see the coconut? Coconut, oh yeah. Yeah, that one, oh, so to dress him up. Is that, so he's like a, so he's a symbol of, you know, like a road opener. Road so opener. that's really what this means. It's like to road opener. Road opener, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then. That one is, no, that is chang uh, Chango. Chango, oh, okay, I think you yeah. told me. Have you been talking to your mom about changing up everything? Well, she says that as a, she says I'm Catholic. I mean, I, she says I don't, she's not, she's not judgmental about people doing whatever they do, but she is. Um, she's trying to warn you, right? Mm, she believes it's wrong. There's certain things that she doesn't agree on. I'm yeah. not going to go into like detail yeah. about that, but. Like, do, you feel, yeah. do you feel like, like some of these things can bring harm to people? It depends on how they use them, yes, they can. You know, as a woman of God that you, you say you love Jesus, right? It doesn't make you feel, like, convicted, like, you know, maybe it's not right in the eyes of God for me to do that. I think it's not right. It's not right. Um, like I always tell my, my, my customers, I say, you, I can't tell you what to do. You do what you think is right for you, but I always, like... Like sometimes I tell them, I suggest other ways of yeah. doing things, you know. Because you trust I, in Jesus and tell them I have, people, just I have people that come in here. I do tell them. Yeah. I said, trust in God, you, you know. Pray to God, you know. Yeah. Ask them and, and tell him your intention. <laughs> and let's say if somebody hurt you, you know. What do you have to do when somebody hurts you? What What do I do? Yeah. Me, myself? I don't do nothing. You forgive. I forgive. Um, I, me, myself, I forgive. I had many people that have hurt me in my life. Yeah. And I do forgive them. You forgive. But, of course, I'm done, but I'm not going to deal with you no more. Mm. You know? What do you, like, what is that for? Like, those, which ones are those candles for? This is, like, when you want somebody to just get away. To get away? Yeah, just, just get out of my way. Don't, don't bother me. Please go away. What is that one called? Del Retiro. These are people that are... Bad, bad people? They're they're problematic. Problem. They're causing, yeah, they're causing problems for the client. Yeah. And she's like, I, I'm just tired. Like, I don't want these problems anymore. Yeah. I just wanted to stay away. And, and I don't, these don't hurt nobody. Yeah. I never prepare anything to kill or hurt yeah. anybody. Because that's him, not, just it's just to, just, to just, just leave them alone. Let, let me ask you this, like, um, do you are you familiar with the gospel? And then I'll leave after I share this with you, okay? Because I feel that this is what I'm here for—to share the the true gospel with you, right? Okay. So, do you believe you're a good person? I believe yes. <clears throat> How are you gonna get to heaven? That's not my up to me. It's up to God. He gave us the gospel. The good news is, it's a story of on how we have access to the Father, to God. Do you do you understand that? I'm gonna be honest with you. What I think. Yeah. I think we all go to heaven. I'm not saying that I'm a perfect person yeah. or have been a perfect person, but I've tried to do my part, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so let me let me tell you this. Like if, okay, so like if you were to die to, today, you believe you'd be going to heaven, right? Let, let me let me share the gospel with you. Have you ever lied? Yeah, well, I think we all do. So I, of course, we've all lied, right? Yeah. But what do you call somebody who tells lies? A liar. A liar. Have you ever stolen? Never that yeah, no. Sorry. Not a pen, nothing. Nothing. Chicle. No. Uh, chicle. Like a piece of gum when you were little. Oh, well, from yeah. my mom's first. Yeah, okay, okay. probably chicle. Okay, well, uh, have you ever took God's name in vain? I have, and okay. I regret it. You did it, though. Like, we've all yeah. messed up. So, have you ever looked at a man with lust? Yeah, I think okay. so. Have you ever dishonored your parents? I can say yes. Okay. I mean, so like, like just just by that, you, you know, not even the full Ten Commandments, but you're. I mean, dishonored, like like talk back. Any anyway, yeah. yeah so you lied, you've dishonored your parents, you, you've mm -hmm. stolen, you've blasphemed, you've mm -hmm. committed adultery, and if you were to die and face God on Judgment Day, would you be going to heaven or hell? Would you be innocent or guilty? I just by that, by that. Just by that. You'd be innocent or guilty. No, I would be guilty. Right. But I think still I will be going to heaven. The Bible says that one sin separates us from God. One, right? But God did something so that you don't have to go to hell. Do you know what it was, obviously? 
What do you mean? Yeah, he gave himself up. Yeah, he yeah. came as a human and he died. He he fulfilled the Bible says six hundred and thirteen mosaic laws. He he did everything perfect. Was it without sin? Yeah. And his blood is literally like this a payment. Mija, mm -hmm. here you go, daughter. This is for you. This it it, it you washes are. you. It cleanses you mm -hmm. of every sin that you've ever committed. So now you have access to the Father, right? You have salvation through what Jesus by repenting of your sins, turning away from your sins, right? All the sins that separated you from God, turning to God, and God gives you everlasting life, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the deal, like. You have to truly turn from your sins. I can't say, like, I've turned from cocaine if I keep going back to it, right? You have to turn from it completely and, and, and walk with God so he can strengthen you to really leave cocaine. Because I used to do a lot of cocaine and all that. God gave me the strength not to. Right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now as a believer that you are, you believe in Jesus. You believe in the atonement, the blood, right? Now it's time to walk with him fully and not hold anything back. Because the Bible says this. He says, what is it to you if you gain the whole world, but oh, you lose but your own soul? You know, let me tell you this. I don't plan on doing this forever. Yeah. This no. isn't what I, my heart is not, what, you, what my mom says. I know, I, I see everything that my mom says. Yeah. And I, and she's right. Yeah, she's yeah. right. But this is what. What's the word of God that's right? It, she's just yeah. quoting the word of God. Yeah, yeah. She, she tells me. Yeah. She tells me, you know, Mija, this isn't, you know, our way. You know, we, we grew up a certain way. You know, we're close to, we're closer to God. We are close to God, but we, this isn't what we plan, and this isn't what I plan. So not right, for my life, not for my future. Not for your life, for your future. No. But Luce, let me tell you this: What if you were to die tonight, mm -hmm. and this what you're doing is is displeasing God? What if, God forbid, because you know what happened? A year and a half ago, a lady died three minutes after I talked to her. And that's not going to happen to you. I say that a lot just to get people to think about this. Like 150,000 yeah. people I mean, die. We never know what's going to happen tomorrow at this very second. That's I could just die right now. God, but for, God forbid that. God forbid. Yeah. But, but I still think, and I'm a firm believer that God forgives. He and does if, forgive. if you, if you, turn if you die, if you die... Cause I remember when I that when that happened to me, yeah. you know, the things that I saw and I remember them vividly, everything and I remember that I saw the bad and I saw the good. Mm -hmm. I truly believe you're back here because the Lord is giving you another chance at life, right? Not so that you can live it the same way in the same way. Because when we come to Christ, we're, we're, He changes us. It's not because like the Bible says, "Don't do, steal, don't kill." No, it's because you you have a relationship with Him and you love Him with all your heart. You don't care about nothing else, right? So my thing is, I don't think what you're doing is right, right? I don't think God loves that. I believe that you're in danger. I'm gonna be honest with that. I don't think God loves it. And I know, I know, I, I know it's not right. But, but it's a, that's what I'm telling you, Luce, like as a brother. But it's it's just the truth. I do believe that mm -hmm. it's dangerous, right? Because because people have killed people with the holy death and all these things. And, you know, they, they, they do harm to people, right? And you're advocating that. You're saying, hey, I sell it. It's okay. You, do, you can do that. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you this. Take it to God tonight. Say, God, if, if this is really you, you've brought the same guy twice already. And I wasn't going to come today. He just told me to come last night, actually. He told me. I told him. I said, hey, we got to go visit Luce again. And he's like, really? I said, yeah, the, the, the Lord. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he was just like, okay. And I said, like, <laughs> the Lord wants me to go and visit Luce. Mm -hmm. Like, like you were on my heart. Like, Luce, you, you have to turn from this. Like, pray about it. And yeah. Your mom is right. Financially, mm -hmm. we're being held here. Trust let me, God. Let me, the only reason why we did this is because I already knew a lot of stuff about this. Yeah. You know, and I knew how to sell and, you know, where to get stuff. And so I said, okay, we'll do this. But it wasn't the plan. Yeah, it was Satan's plan. You know, I'm tired. I don't want to do this forever. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I am 48. I'm going to be 49 now. Right. And, you know, I want my life to be different. I want peace of mind. I want to feel happy. I want to feel, I want to feel good with what I'm, how I live the rest of my life. The Lord wants to set you free. Through yes, Israel. like the hell is real. Yeah. It is real. And and I believe that you didn't go there because God gave you a ch second chance. I think, I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Cada quien es diferente, pero nos, nos enseña lo que tenemos que ver para no volver a hacerlo. Yeah, Luz, I believe that God is reaching you today. I'm going to pray with you before I leave, right? Mm -hmm. And I want you to really tonight say, God, like, take me out of this. Oh, like, yeah, I ask for it every day. 
Okay, well, let's do that now. <laughs> right. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, deliver them from all this, Lord, from all this junk. They don't want witchcraft, and they don't want any of these these things that, that advocate for evil, Lord. Place right now. Release angels and dispatch every demonic spirit, every demonic force right now. Release my angels in this place right now, Lord, to dispatch every unclean spirit that's come against this family and that's trying to keep them here bound by these finances, Lord. We break that off by the authority of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the mm. angel. What do you feeling right now good <laughs> what are you feeling yeah do you good those prayers god heard them god's gonna use you and your husband to build kingdom businesses the devil wants to f make you feel like you're trapped here tonight go god i'm gonna trust you give me a game plan if I put something in my heart i'm gonna do it for you and i'll be obedient amen yeah god bless you sir. <laughs>